going on today, you motherfuckers? All right. The video topic today. How to hide your dip from your parents. First step. Don't be a retard. All right. Well, we have to preface this video by saying that I have a lot of experience in hiding dip. And probably so do you. Yeah, I pretty much... Until a month ago, no one knew I chewed at all. I didn't uh, didn't tell anyone. I hit it. Yeah, I hid. I hit mine for like six months before anyone knew I dipped really. And uh, but we have some tips and tricks and such to help you guys hide your dip. First thing we're gonna do: pack a lip. Hey, pack. Gotta pack us a fat one. Grizzly wintergreen today. Yeah, I switched from Copenhagen long cut back to Grizzly. It was getting too expensive. Uh, I need to give me a nice one right here. Mm. A little more. A little more. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, as soon as you decide you want to start dipping, you're going to want to start just chewing gum. Just chew it around the house, just like make a habit of chewing gum around your parents. That way, you go up, you have a chew in your room, or you have one at school, you come home and you throw a stick of gum in your mouth, your parents aren't going to know, they're just going to think it's the gum. Especially if you're chewing a wintergreen or a mint. So, start off by chewing gum. It totally helps mask your breath. Yeah. And it, it helps your parents from asking questions about why your breath smells weird. Definitely. That's what... That's the reason my parents found out. Is, uh... Because... Oh. Hmm. Little floater. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. But, uh... My breath always smelled like dip. So... One day my mom just asked me what my breath was, and she, that's when she found out I was dipping. So, but, hey. And Move also, um, it kind of goes along with dipping. Everyone wants to stick their can in their back pocket, you know, get a get a dip ring going. It's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Feels nice. <laughs> but, well, um, looks badass, but. Yeah. Not smart when you're first starting out and your parents don't know. No. Especially if you're underage. Yeah. What you want to do is if you're hanging out with your buddies all the time or if you're at college and you you know, you always have your dip can in your back pocket, take your wallet out, stick it in your other back pocket if you have a wallet, stick your dip can in your wallet pocket, and then when you get home, just switch pockets again. That that'll kind of cover up the dip the dip ring, especially if you have tighter pants. Um, and what what I used to do was uh my my wallet's pretty thin now, but my old one it, I had a really fat wallet, so I uh, I started using a thinner wallet, and what I would do is I would stick my dip can in the back of my wallet like this, and just stick that in my pocket with the with my wallet on the front because then it just looks like I had my fat wallet in but no one's gonna know I had a dip can in my back pocket and if if you have your own car and you, you really are worried that your parents are gonna like go through your room or something hide it in your car mm -hmm. my parents never went through my car they like would go in my room and just kind of snoop around and look not go through stuff but you just throw your throw your dip cans in the bottom of your console and cover them up with some papers, and no one's going to be any smarter about it. They're just yeah. going to be like, oh, whatever. But um. And uh, do not leave spitters laying around. That is a big one. Always take care of your spitters. That that's how I got caught, because I would always I would always go in my room with a water bottle, and I would drink my water, and then I would then I would chew the rest of the night, you know, spitting in the water bottle. And, you know, they would get nasty after a couple days, so I would just stick them and I would put them under my bed. And I ended up having, like, eight or nine bottles now in there. 
and I would take one out and I would forget about it and I left one sitting out and my brother-in-law walked in and he's like he kind of gave it a glance but he didn't really care but luckily he didn't care but that's how I got caught I left the spitter out so you want to be careful you want to have one in your room at most and you want to throw it in a backpack or something and take it out in the morning so yeah. it's not laying around and uh well, what was I going to say? Motherfucker. Don't leave spitters in your car yeah. either. Yeah. My my sister found one before she knew I was dipping, and luckily she didn't look behind that because there was like seven more, but I just said, yeah, I was hanging out with Cody, left a spitter in here. Oh, okay, whatever, I'll throw it out for you. Okay, thanks. But don't leave them in your car, don't leave them in, in your room. Yeah. Just try to chuck them out. Toss them in the garbage outside, you know, do something with yeah. them. You can't leave them out. Because I had a habit of leaving spitters in my room, and I had a ton of spitters in my room. And my parents, they like to go through just searching for stuff. And being lazy, I didn't think they were going to go into my room, and I had 15 spitters sitting next to my bed. And I have a whole, I have an entire dresser drawer where we keep all our empty dip cans. We're going to make a, uh, we're saving up enough to build a beer pong table. Like, cover the surface of a table, make a beer pong table out of dip cans. So we're saving up, we got... Probably 115 cans yeah, now? Yeah, 115, 120, something like that. And that's just from the past few months. I had way more than that. But I just, I uh, got a new car in August, and I had probably 200 cans in my old car. And I just threw them out, not even thinking about it. But... Yeah, so be cautious with your empty cans. Um, I mean, I know every, everyone likes to save them because they, they want to be like outlaw, make a huge dip tower. But that's kind of... If, if your parents don't know about it and they go in and they find like 100 empty cans in your room, that's going to raise it's gonna raise some, some fucking suspicions a little bit. I mean, they're going to be like, okay, this isn't just a one-time thing. He's been dipping a long time. Yeah. Um, when I very, when I first started out, like just first initially trying it, I had a spitter in my room that had just a little bit of spit in it cause it knocked me out of my ass. So I only had it in for five minutes and, uh, they found that and I was like, I was like, yeah, I tried it one time. I, I'm not really doing it now. So they were like, oh, okay, that, that's fine. Just don't do it. But if you guys do want to dip in your house and you don't want to have the chance of leaving a spitter anywhere, go take a shower. Yeah, shower dips are the best. Yeah. I used to do that every morning. Throw a dip in, take like, you know, 10, 15 minute shower or whatever. You know, take, spit it spit it right down the drain. It all goes down. No one has to worry take about a, it. Take a shit before you take a shower. Yeah. Just spit in the toilet. Spit between your legs. So then you have don't it in. Don't spit on your dick, though. Don't spit do on your dick. Do not do that. Um... Yeah, just take a shit before you take a shower so you can have it in the whole time. And then, um, if you want to, if you want to dip around the house or like up in your room or something and you have cans to carry around, don't stick them in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Don't be a retard about it. Either stick it in a backpack. If you don't have a backpack, stick it in your sock or your shoe. You right. know, everyone, everyone that dips seems to wear boots. Stick yeah. it in your boot. Yeah. Inside I, of your boot. Like me, I wear cowboy boots. So to get my can up in my room, I'd either stick behind my wallet, or I'd just slide it down my boot, and no one's gonna know. Yeah, I wear um, I wear work boots, so you can't really stick it down the side; they're too tight for that. But I wear a higher socks, so I just stick it in my sock, cover it with my pants, and you know, you take your shoes off or whatever. You don't have to worry about your dip can in your in your shoe, and you just walk right to your room. Freaking throw it under your pillow or something. You don't have to worry about it. Or like me, I wear belt buckles all the time. Like that. Just stick it behind your belt buckle. Just yeah, right I, there. I used and just to have your shirt covered up like that. Back when I was first starting and I was like a total idiot about it, I would stick it behind my belt buckle. That almost got me caught too because it went right down my pant leg, came right out the end of my pant leg, right onto the floor. Luckily, it was kind of on the stairs, so I just covered it with my foot. My sister was like right, right in front of me. And I just kind of picked it up real quick, and she's like, what was that? I'm like, oh, I just dropped my phone. Oh, okay, cool. But, yeah, be be careful about that. 
especially if your pants are looser. Yeah. But um. Yeah, you just you can't be stupid about it. You gotta you gotta hide it. I mean. Don't leave your dip cans out. Don't leave your spitters out. Try to mask your breath with some gum or something. And um, if you're a really heavy user, just start spending more time in your room. Don't, like, all of a sudden run to your room every time you want to dip. Just be like, hey, I'm going to go watch a movie or something. Or if you're, if you're still in school and you got homework to do, go up to your room. And in my room, the way it's set up, when you walk in the door, my bed's at the opposite corner. So... You, uh, my right side is facing the door. If your parents come in, just check in on you, see what's going on. Put it on the left side, all the way over, right there. They're, they're not going to know. Push it all the way to the back. And you can kind of conceal it. So, if that works. And I think we should talk about this, too. Um, if, you know, hiding it's not going so well for you, if you have really strict parents that are, like, you know, all over your ass, this doesn't work if you're underage, but if you're older, you know, 18, 19, still living at home, going to college or something, and you want to tell them, don't be, like, all shady about it. Just tell them. Be like, hey, uh, I, I dip tobacco if, you know... It's not a big deal, you know, bring up some of the evidence yep. of, about how, you know, your risk of cancer from that is about the same as a regular person, so... And, uh, you know, be nice about it. Say, when we're in the house, I won't dip around you guys. I'll go upstairs, I'll go take a shower, I'll go somewhere. Just be be nice about it. Don't be an asshole. Well, be you, like, you might yeah. not want to take them... You might not want to say, yeah, I'm taking a shower with a dip in, because they might be like, I don't want you spitting in my fucking tub. But, um... Just, yeah, just, just tell them you won't do it, around it. it. Yeah, don't just don't just walk up to your parents and be like, yeah, I dip, get over it, because that would not be good for you. But if you have like really chill parents that I mean they're gonna care a little bit, but not like a chill. Like I live with my uh, sister and my brother-in-law, um, and my brother-in-law chews. He didn't really want me getting into it, but he didn't really care that much. My sister I thought was gonna have like a huge problem with it, but it wasn't that bad. I just like, I, I was always watching, like, outlaw videos and stuff and um, cope junkies. And I would just watch them all the time and, you know, talk about how all my friends chew. And eventually my brother-in-law were sitting in the mudroom, you know, having, you know, just chilling out, whatever. He's like, hey, want some chew? I'm like, what do you got? Grizzly man. I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, and just sitting there with the chew in, he's like, He's like, you know you shouldn't do it, right? I'm like, yeah, but it's a little late now. He's like, yeah, that's true. He's like, whatever, just go ahead. I don't really care. And then my sister was, she was good about it too. She's like, well, he's he's 18. He can make his own choices. Like, the thing with my parents is, um, my dad, he chewed for years. He just, about a year ago, he stopped. And he was really good at hiding, hiding it. I never knew he chewed until he told me he did. And I just found out like a month ago. And I'm 19, so 19 years of hiding that he chewed, that's pretty goddamn good. But, I mean, your parents, of course, if, it, if you live with your, you know, other relatives, they're not going to care as much as your parents because your parents, you know, all they're, all they're worried about is your health. So, like, my dad... He gives me wicked trouble over to him. He's like, yeah, your fucking jaw is going to fall off and this and that. And I'm like, dude, I don't even live with you, so you can't really tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. 18 anyway, if I want to chew, I can chew. He's like, well, you can't do it here. I'm like, well, there's plenty of other places I can go and chew, yeah. so whatever. I mean, just be decent to your parents about it. Don't be assholes. Don't be like, I'm going to fucking chew if I want to chew. Fuck you. Yeah. Because so. that's going to piss them right off. Mm -hmm. So, But this video is running a little bit long, so we're going to cut it off. But just don't be stupid about it. And if you're going to tell them, be nice. Yeah, be decent about it. All right. So I think that wraps it up for this video. We're going to have way more coming at you. So stay tuned. Keep watching. Make sure to hit that, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Make, leave leave yeah, a comment. Leave your comments. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And... Um, 
I want to give give a big shout out to the Netherlands and Germany because uh, they're some of our biggest viewers right now. We like yeah. we'd like to get some American viewers, but you know, as long as we get some as long as we get some views, we don't really care. So thanks a lot, you guys. All we'll right. see you next time. See you next time.